It was the vision of a universal human that beckoned me. I had no map to follow except my strong urge to experience what I would call our essential bio-lineage and my certainty that our existences were fed far beyond our cultural moorings. My name is Emily Conrad, and just to let you know that the work that I've developed has now been pretty much worldwide. Uh, books have been written about it, articles have been written about it, I've been given awards as a somatics pioneer. And I must say that in these 50 years, I have managed to make a contribution to understanding what it is to be human, at least to some degree, what it means to have a body, what it means to move, what it means to feel, what our legacy as humans might be. It was the love of that primal African movement that catapulted me to fascinating, magical, and ever tormented Haiti. All of these dances that we were learning all came from Haiti. And so, when I was 20 years old, I went to Haiti. Nineteen fifty-five, Port-au-Prince, Haiti. I'm in the land of Bougainville. All around me, I smell the perfume and the wetness. Dark bodies move slowly to the thick, wet heat. We take a taxi to Pichonville. I suddenly feel at home here. I don't know why. My eyes are thrilled by the houses painted pistachio and pink and canary yellow. The houses have this way of leaning toward each other as if exchanging secret information about the lives inside. But I love to watch the women on the mountain trail. Blue, pink dresses whisper around their bodies. The women carry huge baskets down the hill, chattering in a high sing-song voice that I learned to love. The sound of the birds and the chattering of the women are not so different. There's a symphony here. But always the drums, invisible hands in the hills, playing all the time. It's like being in a constant prayer. But I must tell you that no matter what goes on in Haiti, the drums never stop. They're in the hills all the time, and though every dictator comes in and they try to stop those drums, they try to destroy the spirit of Haiti, and it still exists. And I'm not even sure that there are actual drummers that are drumming. Maybe it's the echo of Africa that was carried into Haiti and is still lingering in the trees and the rocks and the stones and down those hills and in the donkey voices and in the bougainvillea, and maybe it is. And if it is, I sing to its voice and I say, yes, you won't die. And I feel so much for what's happened to that extraordinary culture. But you must know that the seeds of it exist in continuum.
dancing was was a religion. I mean that you went to prayer. There was nothing like entering that space and particularly the way the light would come through the windows, the way you would just listen to that music and the prayer would begin and you were in a perfect place. You were in a perfect world. There was no treachery. There was no prejudice. There was no mothers or fathers. There was no invaders. There was nothing. There was just you and And that was a revelation to me that I could have secrets in relation to my body and my experience of my body that no one else would know. And it was my secret world for a very long time. I had no idea that I would ever develop anything like Continuum. I was just trying to find a way to live and to make my time on Earth useful and to breathe air that I could find um, breathable. There were so many things that happened when I was in Haiti that's hard to describe, but the most important thing, I think, was that all my life I was, I was looking for, how does the earth and humans, how, how does that work exactly? Is there some communication that goes on? Is there some way that we're connected? I certainly didn't feel that in New York at all. But in this hut, one night, I could see the earth speaking through the feet of the dancers. I saw it. I saw this wave of communication moving through. And I understood the movements very differently than I did at the Dunham School in New York. I saw it very differently. I saw, I actually saw the, that link happening. I saw that movement and how it, it, just, it just spoke through the dancers. And I knew that that was it. That's what I had been looking for, that kind of connection.